welcome to Cube's Pie Tutorials, I'm Keith Ellis. Today we'll just be a quick little video to show you how to install the Ryan Tech debug clip on a Mac. Um, this is a recently uh, successfully completed Kickstarter by Ryan Wormsley and it's a little circuit board I'll show you in a bit. Um, you can connect it to the GPIO pins on a Raspberry Pi, plug a USB cable into it, connect it up to a computer and it allows you to easily um, use a serial terminal uh, to connect to your Raspberry Pi. So this is the Ryan Tech debug clip. It's a little circuit board. It's got um, a row of holes here which fit onto the Raspberry Pi GPIO header. And this is a, an old Model B, but it also fits the B plus and the A plus um, and the Raspberry Pi 2. So there's a chip on there, that, that's the bit that does all the work. There's a couple of LEDs to indicate whether it's transmitting or receiving. There's a jumper just here, which can be enabled, which would power the Pi through the USB socket, which we've got there. And um, there's a diode and a polyfuse for protection purposes. Now, normally I would use one of these serial cables, um, a console cable, which I think this particular one came from Pimaroni. Cost about six pound. And inside here is very similar tech to what you see on there, obviously without the LEDs. Um, but the disadvantage with this is you've got four cables there, which you have to manually connect to the pins on the Raspberry Pi. Now, you know, it's easily done once, once you know the, the correct um, colouring and the pin numbers, you know, it's quite quick and easy. But um, it, you can get the, um, the green and white there, transmit and receive. It's quite easy to get them the wrong way around um, unless it doesn't work. And also we've got a 5 volt um, cable there. So that goes on the 5 volt pin to power the Pi. Um, but I tend not to use that because in the past I have fried a pie by plugging in quickly and connecting onto a GPIO pin instead and um, that's frying the pie. So with the Ryan Tech debug clip it's a lot harder to install the um, clip incorrectly. We just take a pie, so I'm using the Model B here but you can, it fits on the um, B plus and the Pi 2, slot the clip over the GPI pins. Now this particular one I've got is a very tight fit which is good so you get a good connection. Um, you can see it's not gone all the way on there, I'm sure I could push it all the way on if I wanted to but that is going to be fine for what I need. You know, if you want to get another board on top there you could push that down and, and get another board onto them pins if you need. This debug clip only uses um, the first four pins um, up from the top here, which is the serial port pins. So to, to get this up and running, there's a jumper here. So um, there's two options. With with it off, um, you need to power the Pi. The, power from the USB won't go into the Pi. Um, I'm going to plug it on. So we'll connect the two pins together with the jumper. So that's on there now. So when we plug the USB into the computer and plug the other end of the USB into the debug clip, you can see the Raspberry Pi boots up and then we should be able to um, connect to it over the USB cable. And you can see there's no networking installed on here so I'm not connecting through through the network it's just purely through this cable. So this is a very good solution if you can't get your net Wi-Fi network working and you'd usually connect to your Pi through the um, Wi-Fi and, and if you haven't got a monitor connected you know there's no way of setting it up um, with a debug console um, we can connect to the serial terminal set our Wi-Fi up 
plug the Wi-Fi dongle in, reboot your Pi, and away you go. You can use your normal SSH commands. So next I'll show you how to um, get this up and running on the Mac. Here we are on the Mac. I've got a terminal window open. The Raspberry Pi is plugged into the debug console and the USB cable is plugged into the Mac. The Raspberry Pi is powered on. So first of all, we'll find out where the debug console is within the Mac. So we'll search LS. We'll search in the dev folder and we'll search for tty.star. I'll bring up all the tty devices. You can see I've got three devices there. Two of them are Bluetooth related and there's a third one here which is um, USB modem 1411. Um, this might change on your computer so you need to search for this. You need to know what this is. Um, the number will particularly change. The USB modem is unlikely to change, but it could do. So um, I'm going to connect to this exactly the same way as I would do with a console cable. Um, the only difference is with a console cable, I would have had to install a driver first. I uh, haven't um, installed a driver. This is straight out of the box. And according to the microchip website, which makes the um, MCP2221 um, I see that Ryan's put on this debug clip. They say that this works OS X 10.7 and above. Um, it doesn't, I haven't seen anywhere where it says you can get it working with OS X 10.6 or below. So um, most people should be on at least 10.7 by now, the fall. So I'm going to use the screen command, um, which is a text based window manager, but you can also get serial data sent to it, so screen, and we need to, um, we'll type dev, tty.usb, um, now we can press tab and it will auto complete, um, so we've got that modem num name in there automatically, and we need to type the baud rate in, which is the speed it connects at, so 11.52.00, which is the fastest speed we can get this working, and press enter. You can see there I've got Raspberry Pi login. I'm quite surprised I've seen that. Um, that must have been stored somewhere. We don't normally get to see. Um, quite often this will be a blank screen and you think it's not working. So, um, and you start typing your um, username and password. This actually isn't working. So, oh, it's working. So, login, pi, password, raspberry. Unless you've changed it, of course. And there we are, we're in. We've got a terminal window on our raspberry pi. No drivers required, just using Ryan's debug clip. Very simple, no messing about with cables, trying to get the right cable on the right pin. Um, and it just works on a Mac straight out of the box. Um, simple. So this is what you see now. I'm not going to go any further. We can, you know, sit, see what we've got going on here. Um, you know, we've got full, you know, control of our Mac over the serial console cable um, or the debug clip, as Ryan calls it. So I'm really impressed with that. Um, works very well. And um, yeah, that's all there is to say. Okay, just a final bit of video. Um, I've got the Raspberry Pi still connected to the debug clip, still onto my laptop, and I've got the terminal window open. Um, I just wanted to show you the LEDs. Every time I type a command, I type LS, and you can see the send receive LEDs flashing. Um, it's just useful so you can tell um, it's actually doing something. Um, just one thing I didn't mention, I have done tutorials on the console cable before and the screen program it works exactly the same as before. When you want to exit, you do Control A, which is a meta key for screen, and press D to detach. Okay, hope you enjoyed that.